Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Thanks for watching. Okay, today I want to talk about how are you feeling? You know, for the past three weeks, I've had two strains of different flu viruses. A lot of people that I know have been sick. A lot of people have been lethargic, tired, where it's like we've got brain fog. Are you in this category? Please comment below if you like this, okay? If this is happening to you. Um, I slept three days straight last week, which is extremely rare for me and very, very unnormal. So I'm still getting over where I was because not only am I trying now to catch up like two or three weeks of work that I've missed out on, but I'm also extremely tired still. I did a video this morning and the funniest thing was when I did that ghost video this morning about the old lady, I actually said in there, I went outside, I sat down and I said, what video should I do? And she said, do a ghost story. Now, whenever she talks to me, I trust it. So I came inside and did a ghost story. I uploaded it to YouTube and then I said to my daughter, let's get out of here. We've got to go shopping today. So we went up to the shops and I got a phone call from Anna who lives in America. Hello, Anna. Thank you so much. And Anna said, my God, you know, can you please do a video about disconnecting and meditating? Because funny thing. This morning, when I went outside, what did she say? Do a ghost video. Because she knew that I was getting a phone call from Anna, yeah, two hours later, where Anna was going to give me the message of what video to do. So see how this works out, guys. It's amazing. But I do want to go there because I'm not 100% better yet, okay? I am still brain fogged. I am still very lethargic, fatigued, I would say. I used to go to bed about 10 o'clock at night and get up at 6. Now I'm going to bed anywhere from 7.30 to 8.30 and it's like going straight to sleep. And I'm sleeping until 6.30 or 7 the next morning. And I've got to go and have a day sleep. You know, I've just had a half an hour day sleep today. And it's like, why am I so tired? We can't say it's the weather. We can't. It is extremely cold here in Brisbane. Today it's only 27, it's 21 Celsius right now at quarter to four in the afternoon. So it is pretty cool here now. You know, for Australia, this is cool. Okay. I need to go and put a coat on after I finish this video. But, you know, in the cold, you know, we look at bears, they hibernate because it's so cold. So they do sleep a long time. So is this the case? But it would only be specific to Australia going through winter if this was true. But then you hear from people in America where it's now going into summer. You know, June is coming into summer for them. And they're extremely fatigued as well. So comment below what you think. But I'm going to talk today about how we get through this. Now, I don't ever wish to come across as a guru, a master, a sender master, or whatever you want to call it, okay? Because I'm not. I am a human at the end of the day who goes through the same K-R-A-P that the rest of us goes through, okay? I do try extremely hard to walk my talk. And that's why when I do get sick like last week, I actually sit there and think, well, what have I done to create that in my energy? Okay, so we do still have fallibilities and issues, etc., that do come into our lives. Yeah, we're only mortal beings. You know, we all have an end date. You know, we're not immortal beings. So our body does get ill. We do get things wrong with us but it's how we manage it and how we get rid of that energy when it does come in so I'll go there first of all I don't know if you believe in this stuff but 
<laughs> we are in a spiritual war. There is a very, very big defining wall right now between those that are good and those that aren't. There is a huge divide. We can't just call it grey matter now. It's into the black. Okay. There are a lot of people out there now who are angry. There's a lot of people out there now who are deserving. They feel that they are privileged because they haven't been able to get their way because it's all about control, right? They want to control what they're doing. So they are doing what they want without considering the repercussions or the consequences of their actions. Now, this is a big one because every day I'm seeing people breaking the laws, road rules, people just doing illegal U-turns. One guy the other day, I can't believe how he didn't kill three people in another car. He just decided to drive down the middle of two lanes and he took off his one car just ended up over on the gutter. I don't know how that car didn't crash out and burn because people are not considering other people at this point. And that's something that I really do want to talk about, okay? But in a different video. I'm not going to go there today because it's not about being nasty. Because the more we talk about how nasty others are, the more we are allowing that into ourselves. The more we gossip about somebody, the more we are inviting all that negativity to fester and grow within us. So that's why um, gossiping is so bad. Stop talking about people. Now, I've been guilty of that myself this week, okay, because my vibration, my energy, my frequency has been low because I haven't been well, but as soon as I identified my behavior, oh, because now we're getting there, as soon as I worked out, oh my God, look what I am creating, bang, and I shut that down. And I said to myself, do you want to be this person? So let's go there, okay? First off, I've said it in other videos that I've done, but I'm going to say it all again today because it's all nice and relevant and current for today. When we feel something, which is emotion, emotions are only a consequence of something else. No one ever just gets happy. No one ever just gets sad. We always get happy because of something else or we always get sad because of something else. So emotions are always a consequence. It's a byproduct of how something is happening in our lives. So what we've got to identify is when we are truly getting connected to our emotional states, we have to identify that external consequential event that causes the reaction of us having an emotive state like happiness or sadness, right? So if it's something that we ourselves are creating, if I go and pat my cat... I'm going to feel good. Now, do you notice I just said the word if in there? Because that's an ultimatum. Think about it. If I pat my cat, I'm going to feel okay. Okay? Now, I said that deliberately to make us aware of how we communicate with ourselves. Okay? Because that's an ultimatum. If I pat the cat, I am going to feel like this. It's an ultimatum. If you do that, I'm going to do that. So that's an ultimatum. So we don't make it negative, okay? I wish, oh, here we go. I wish to create happiness within me. And I know that one of the things that makes me happy is when I pat the cat. Huh. See how now it's a positive? Huh. So 
Take that word if out of your vocabulary. I don't really like the word if. The other one I don't like is why. Why haven't you done the dishes? Because, again, that's control. That's when we're trying to tell somebody else when and what they've got to do when they have to do it when it appeases us. So stop doing it. Because it's also negative. Okay, it's all about communication styles. Okay, so let's just go there with the big thing for today. We've got to establish what is created by us. And what is created by someone else. Okay? All right, so let's just go there. I'm sure we're all going to agree with one one thing today. We all want to be happy, right? (laughs) Please say yes. Okay? So if we want to be happy within ourselves and we want that happiness to spew out of us where we feel great and we feel awesome and we feel like, oh, How do we create that without relying on an external force to do it? Huh? Because this is where we take our own power. This is when we're taking our own authority. This is when we are creating the life that we want and we're virtually saying stuff off to every other event action reaction out there because I'm not going to put my energy which is my emotions into it okay other people can do what they want governments authorities etc can all do what they want but I'm going to create my own sphere of happy okay So how do I create my own happy? I sit there and I go within myself and I ask myself questions like, what makes you happy, Linda? Now, I just said one of the big ones, patting my cat. Wow, cool. So put that one on your list. Okay, I love going out and sitting in the sun. Cool, put that on your list. So now we're making this bucket list. How does it make me happy? Okay, what things make me happy? Don't rely on, oh, when my boyfriend takes me to the park or when I'm at work and I'm dealing with the, I'm doing my maths because I love maths. Don't put external things into your equation. It's all things that you do, okay? So you take that work out of it. And if you do have that, oh, yeah, I love going to work because I love doing the maths equations all day long. So you take that out of it because at the end of the day, work is just getting paid, okay? That's your paid work. So take that out of it, okay? And you say, how good does it feel that I get to go to that place where I can do what I like to do? See how we just twist it a little bit? So instead of saying, I go to work, I get paid to do maths because then it's their energy that we're talking about, your employers, okay? Please stay with me, guys, okay? So you take that employer out of the equation and you make it all about us. I go, I make that decision to go there. I have that free will to do what makes me happy. Wow. So we identify what we create within ourselves as opposed to what other external forces create okay all right how many times do people say i was driving to work today and i got stuck in traffic that's where we are blaming other issues outside of our control the other people in their other cars damn why were there so many people on the road today i needed to get to work because that's when we feel privileged That's where we're not taking accountability or responsibility for our own actions. Leave 15 minutes earlier, if that's the case, if you're going to get stuck in traffic. But people feel deserving, so they blame. Oh, I was stuck in traffic today. 
There's no accountability of, hey, I know it's going to be a busy day on the roads today. Maybe if I leave 15 minutes earlier, I'm going to get to work at a decent hour. See the difference? So positive, negative. Okay, so have a look at how you talk. And I always say, write things down, how you say things. Okay, because it's going to amaze a lot of people. You know, I started recording myself about 10 years ago. And I thought, wow, is that how I really talk? And I really made a conscious decision. I wasn't going to do it anymore. I wasn't going to talk like that anymore. Using the words like, why? Why were you 10 minutes late coming home? What, where were you? See how accusing that is? That's really negative. And it shows that you don't trust or respect the other person when you do ask those questions. And it shows your own self, self um, insecurities. And it shows your own jealousies, which is negative, 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 and more negativity bounding into the big bundle of black blob of energy, right? So think about how you talk. Then think about how you think. How do you think? Take out of the equation what everybody else is doing. Don't worry about your neighbours. Don't worry about your family. Don't worry about that friend who's doing things that you don't agree with okay don't worry about them just allow them to do what they're doing thank you very much okay because at the end of the day we can only take accountability and responsibility of our own actions so this is where we center ourselves and we say to ourselves you know what okay i'm only going to listen to linda today i'm only going to make linda happy today i'm only going to do what's good for this person today Who's the most important person in the world? And I hope you're pointing to yourself. Because to us, to me, the most important person is me. It's always me. Okay, so look look at yourself in the mirror and say to yourself, you know what, you're the most important person to me. What am I doing to make me feel good? What can I do about this? Okay, so we sit there and we take away all the external emotions okay look how much the governments around the world now are trying to make us still fear look at how much they want us to oh my god another strain oh my god heart attack strokes all these kids are dying okay they want us in fear because when we're in fear our energy depletes and guess what happens we all get sick okay So look what happened to me for the past three weeks. I've been pretty damn not well. Okay. So how do we get out of that negativity bubble? We start thinking, has anybody else, any other organization, entity, okay, entity is a big one here, okay, are they making me feel block? Yes. Good. We've identified it. So you say to yourself, I do not give any right or any permission for any external energies or entities, any right or permission to attach to my mind, body, soul, spirit or energy field. I do not give consent. I do not give power to any external person entity or energy field you have no right or permission to attach to me and make me feel black so nick off go back to where you came from see you later thank you very much and you're gone now do you do you notice i just said thank you very much always give thanks thank you for giving me the opportunity to to feel the emotion of what they want me to feel. But thank you so much, I don't want it. I've got free will. I've got my own power where I decide through my own free will what I allow into my own energy space. Now, have you noticed the last two minutes about how my energy is now starting to build up? You see it? I hope you're feeling this, okay? Because the more I say, 
my authority and my power resides only in what Linda creates within her own energy field, which is the same for you, right? The more that we say this, the more we're creating it. So a couple of people have emailed me this week. They're saying, oh, God, I feel so bad. Oh, it's like I'm getting attacked left, right and centre. So you say, anything associating to me, you've got no right or permission. Nick off right now. Ping off. You've got no right to be in my energy field. I give you no power. I give you no authority. I give you no strength. Because my energy is my energy and you're not allowed in it. You know the old, get away from me. Get away. Get away. Because that's how we take our power back. Okay. So we look within ourselves and we say, "Who who does Linda want to be today? Does Linda want to be a sad person? Does Linda want to have no energy? Or does Linda want to be this bouncing fluffy duck box of fluffies? I want to be this fluffy box of fluffy ducks. I want to be this absolutely amazing, awesome, beautiful person. I want is the same as saying I have. And it's the same as saying I am. Because the more that we say I want happiness, I create happiness. I create beauty and love and peace then this is nicking off all those other energy fields so they can't invade our space (sighs) hope you're listening still to this okay so how do we switch it all off there's all this energy coming at us how do we switch it off first of all you're saying the thanks but no thanks See you later, alligator. And don't come back in a while, crocodile. You tell it to nick off. Secondly, you take stock of who you are. You look inside yourself and you say, you know what? I am this beautiful person. I am so loving. I am so deserving. I am so treasured, adored and beautiful. You know what? I am great. I am bloody amazing. And I am bloody awesome. Because I don't listen to other people of what they think I should be. I don't listen to what they're trying to make me into. I say thank you so much, but Nick off with a capital F. And you're not welcome in my energy space. I hope you're feeling how I'm feeling because as soon as we start taking our own power and we start looking within and saying, you know what, she's right. The more I listen to other people, I'm attaching to their energy. So nick right off. I don't want you in my life anymore. And it makes us feel good. Now, I don't know if you just heard that, but that's my cat. She just came in again. Mary, she's here. Okay, let me get her for you. Come here. No, she's going to go away. Come here. No, she's gone. Well, why did she just come in now? Did you notice how the last five minutes of this video, my energy has been building, 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 building? Cats are very psychic. Huh, funny that she comes in now when I'm raising my vibration up, isn't it? Everything happens for a reason, and we've just got our... I hope you heard a meow because she went meow. (laughs) I hope that came through my microphone. But it just shows you when we lift our vibrations up, it attracts in other emotions that are on that same frequency. She's here. Come here. Here's a biscuit. No, she wants her dinner. That's what she does want. Okay, so I'm going to go feed her. And I hope that this is made just all just work it out within you guys if you're sitting there and you're thinking oh my god it's all bluck you know my whole life's going down the toilet why is your life going down the toilet because we're probably listening to all these external entities and energies telling us that we are stop doing it listen to yourself listen to your gut 
because tomorrow I'm going to do a video. I'm going to do tarot. Yay! It's going to be an interesting one. But I'm going to do a video tomorrow about how to disconnect and how to meditate and go within. So I hope that you stay around for that one, guys. Hope you all have a great night. Talk to you all soon. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.